Hello viewers, welcome back. So in the last video, we understood the basic fundamentals of the MSMED Act and also the newly inserted section 43BH. So now in this session, we will understand what is the solution that Tally is provided for the organizations to manage the compliance of both the act. So let us go to Tally and explore the options that are available and we will see how we can configure and we will also understand how we can handle this feature of Tally both from the perspective of an MSME company seeing the report and also company who need to comply with this both the act such that they are able to provide information in form MSME 1 and also adhere to the new section of 43BH. The first use case we shall take is an organization who is an MSME registered business. Let us understand what configuration is required in this scenario. Now the MSME can capture their MSMA Udyam registration detail in Tally. So let us learn how we can capture the MSMA Udyam registration in Tally Prime. So from gateway of Tally, press F11, which is features. And now on the right hand side, we have this button called more detail. Click on more detail. And now you will have this MSME registration detail. I have already entered the information. Just select here and press enter. You have to select the type of enterprise from the list, whether it is micro, small or medium. And then you will enter the Udyam registration number. When you press enter, it will ask you for the registration date. You can specify the registration date. Currently, if you see the maximum days, once there is a credit agreement, it is 45 days. Just in case, if there is any change, then the user can go and modify accordingly. How do we do that? Again, if you see here, when you click on more detail, credit days allowed for micro small parties is 45. You can enter here and when there is no credit period agreement, then it is 15. You can specify it's a user defined field. Tally is predefined the number of days as per the act. So once we have captured this information, just press Ctrl A to save it. Now the MSME organization can print their MSME Udyam registration detail on all their invoices. This will help the customers of MSMEs to identify that their vendor is an MSME registered entity and will ensure that their payments are made as per the specified date by the MSMED Act, else they will know the consequences. So let us see how Udyam registration detail gets printed on the invoice. So we will select a particular invoice. So this is the invoice. And now to print the invoice, all you have to do is, if you remember the keyboard shortcut, just press Ctrl P. And now you have this print configuration. Before we preview, click on configure. And again, you don't have to go and search here. All you have to do is from the print configuration screen, just type Udyam. So you have this under the company detail, we have this option called show Udyam registration number and enterprise type. If it is no, by default, once you enter the Udyam registration detail in F11, this will automatically get set to yes. In case if it is no, all you have to do is just press enter. If it is no here, select this option and press enter. It will now toggle to yes. Once it is done, you can just press escape and now click on preview. Once you click on preview, we will now observe that the Udyam registration number of this company and also the type of enterprises is specified. Next, let us say you want Udyam registration details to be captured in all the reports when you view, print or export. So how do we configure that? Let's come back to gateway of tally. Click on print and select configuration. Again, just click on show more. When you click on show more, you will get this option here, show Udyam registration number and enterprise type for reports. Again, by default, it will be yes, since you have entered the Udyam registration detail. If it is no, just press enter and let it toggle to yes. Once it is made as yes, just press escape. And now let us see in the report how this information gets captured. 
So let's go to balance sheet. Let's see the print preview. So I'm going to press control P, click on preview. And now again, you will observe here the Udyam registration information is getting captured in the report also. This way, in all the reports, you can capture the Udyam registration details. Let us take the next scenario. You want to view your outstanding amounts from your customers who are supposed to clear your pending bills as per MSMAD Act deadline. For you to properly track the receivable as per MSMAD Act, you will have to specify the default credit period in the party master screen. So let us take one Sunday data's ledger. So this is the customer ledger. And if you see here, you have this default credit period here where you have entered as 45 days. This is the company, let us say, has to adhere to MSMAD Act. Even if you have a credit period of say 60 days, but for you to track the receivable, enter the maximum credit period as 45 days in the party master. What is the advantage? This way you can view your receivable report with the due dates as per the MSMAD Act and all amounts pending beyond the appointed date. Actually, you can send a reminder letter to your customers to pay interest at the rate of 20.25% compounded monthly as per section 15 of MSMAD Act 2006 and they are bound to pay. In fact, you can use Tally's interest calculation feature to calculate the amount of interest to be received from your customer. To know the details of how to configure and set up, you can check this playlist interest calculation and see how you can configure them. To track or view the pending amounts, you can use Tally's default outstanding report of receivable. Click on go to and then just say receive type receivable you will get bills receivable select receivable and now you are going to get this detail here once we are in the outstanding report just press f12 configure and we can specify these options as yes type of grouping let it be bill wise so opening amount you can say yes due on is already yes show number of days till due date yes and then you can save it and now you will observe that since we have entered 45 days as the maximum number of days within which your customer is supposed to make the payment it is considered that 45 days from the date of the bill and now it says these are the days beyond the appointed date and for these number of days you are eligible to claim for a penal interest from your customer now let us take the second use case the organizations who have procured goods or services from msmes who have udyam registration and in case of non compliance the following will be applicable number 1 section 15 of msmed act 2006 where the act specifies the maximum number of credit days allowed for clearing the bill. Number two, section 16 of MSMED Act 2006, where on delayed payment, interest at the rate of 20.25% monthly compounded for the number of days delayed in making the payment or the overdue number of days, the interest needs to be paid. So we need to check on that also. Number three, form MSME 1, where the companies have to provide half yearly information in form MSME 1 to registrar of companies of all overdue bills outstanding and delayed payments detail. Lastly, income tax section 43BH, the details of the bills overdue to MSME as on the last date of the financial year beyond the appointed date, they have to fetch this data as they have to add back this expenses to the income as per this section. I have explained on these aspects in my previous video, the link for which you can find in the description below. This scenario will be applicable for all companies registered under MCA, which is Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Now, how can these organizations leverage this feature in tally? Two things are critical for these organizations to configure and view the related information or report. Number one, these companies have to identify their vendors as MSME Udyam registered parties. Number two, once they configure this, then they have to view all these parties report to keep track of payment due date and overdue if any. Now let us see how to capture the Udyam registration of their vendors. In fact, in Tally Prime, you have three ways to update this 
information number one the information can be updated for individual party in the ledger master alteration screen if already the party masters have been created or you can capture this information while creating the new party master the second option is there is an interface where you can update the party ledger with the udyam registration detail in the multi master update interface the third option is that you can capture all this msme related udyam registration information in excel of the party master where you have bulk of masters capture them in excel and you can import it into tally prime remember this important configuration so first let us go to individual vendor master and see how we can capture this information so you can go to master alter select ledger and you can select the sundry creditors ledger or your suppliers ledger this is the vendor ledger master under sundry creditors the default credit period here the agreed period is 60 days tally will consider this as credit agreement and for msme purpose the maximum days will be treated as 45 days even though we are entering here as 60 days if the credit days entered here is 30 days then for msme purpose it will be 30 days as the appointed date if the default credit period is left blank in that case tally will consider for msme purpose that there is no agreement and it will consider the maximum days as 15 days so this is very important now we have to capture the udyam registration detail of this vendor how do we do this you have this option called set alter msme registration detail now just in case if you are not able to see this option remember to press f12 configure and you have this option here which says provide msme registration detail once you set this option as yes we will get this option now you click here and then press y enter and you can capture this information the way we saw how to capture in the msme f11 configuration specify the enterprise type udyam registration number and the applicable date so let's select another party where we can specify the information let's select krishna agencies so we will say yes here and now the type of enterprise we will say it is micro the udyam registration number we have to enter enter and now we have to specify the effective date of the registration detail we can specify new effective date and then we can say they have registered since 1st of april 22 enter and save this so this way you can update the udyam registration information of your msme vendor individually now let us see how can we capture this information in the multi master update in interface so you can click on go to and just type msme you will have this option called update party msme detail select this and then you can select you can select the group as sundry creditors sundry creditors and in the name of the ledger you can select all item so once you select all item you will get the list of all the vendors ledger so now if this party is an msme udyog registered party to update the information just press enter and now just observe this message and read this it's very important once you provide msme registration detail the option of maintain bill by bill will be enabled in the party ledger if it is not enabled and also the state and the country are pre-filled from the company master if not specified already so it's important that you specify the state so let us select this as micro and the udyam registration number why state is important because the state code is specified for every entity in the udyam registration number for karnataka it is ka so you will enter this number ka stands for karnataka 01 and there are seven digits basically press enter and if it is correct then we will not get any message now the effective date here again you can specify the effective date basically now all these companies have to make sure that they get the udyam registration certificate from their msme vendors so that they can capture all this information without any difficulty the third method is downloading the sample excel file for masters so how do we do that click on import select manage 
and you have this sample excel file select masters and make sure that you have all accounting masters if it is not showing all accounting masters then click on configure and when you press enter here you will get the list of all the masters sample file select all accounting masters enter and then you can just press escape and now click on export the file will be exported and if you observe here the three new fields are added here all you have to do is just add this field in the ledger master column and capture the information check this videos under the playlist of redis 4.0 for you to understand how to import data from excel into tally prime and also how you can add additional field to capture the information the link will be provided in the description once you have updated the master information you are now ready to view the outstanding report of msmes to view details of pending bill of msme all you have to do is just click on go to and type msme and you will see this option outstanding msme bills select this and press enter so as on 31st of march these are the three bills which are pending and you will also see the due date here which says that it is due as on 10th of march considering 45 day as the maximum credit period to view additional information just click on f12 configure and let it be bill wise detail show type of enterprise we will say yes show udyam registration number yes show opening amount yes then show due on and here we have this three option bill wise detail that is as per invoice msme credit period is from company feature as per agreement what we capture in the party ledger master the third option which normally if you select this which is bill wise or msme credit period whichever is earlier so when you select this tally will see whichever is the period earlier so i gave an example that if the credit period agreed is say 30 days then the earliest due date will be 30 not 45 days so select whichever is earlier here enter and you want to see the credit days say yes here and the number of days till due date enter yes and you can save it by pressing Control A. So now you will get all this additional information, the type of enterprise, Udyam registration number, then the opening amount, the pending amount also, the due as per MSME, the date is there, and credit days, it says, this is what is the maximum number of days. Now, since these bills are pending beyond 45 days, days till due date also is mentioning in negative, which means these bills are pending 45 plus 21 so which is 66 days these bills are pending from the date of the invoice so this is where the penal interest is going to be applicable this report also will help the organization to quickly check the outstanding to msmes and make sure that they are clearing their payment within the specified period number one to avoid penal interest and number two if it is not paid within the financial year then they have the risk of reversing those expenses as part of income and this report will only list those bills pertaining to small and micro enterprises whichever party we configure as medium enterprises party those parties bill will not get captured here there's another report which is msme form one which the companies have to submit to the roc on a half yearly basis so how do we view that again there are two ways you can go through menu part let me just walk you through menu part so from the gateway of tally you can click on display more report and now you have this new report under statutory which is msme report o is the hotkey press o and now you have this msme form one statement we also use this option through the go to option where we can update party masters detail for multiple vendors so now let us click on msme form one statement by default again it is going to show you the second half since the data is till 31st march it is going to show you from october to march let us change this period for the entire year now this report basically going to tell you that even though these amounts from this list have been cleared but they have been cleared after the specified due date to view this information with all additional detail again remember press f12 configure and check here show type of enterprise yes udm registration number yes here we'll let's select whichever is earlier cleared on if the bills have cleared when was it cleared well, let us see the 
credit days and show the number of days till the due date if it is paid before the due date then it will show as positive if it is paid beyond the due date then the number of days will be displayed in negative save this control a and now we are able to see these bills so all these bills are cleared but if you notice here they these bills have cleared beyond the specified days and the number of days is also getting displayed here the due date as per msme is 1st of May. That means the credit period that we have specified is 30 days for the party in the party master. So tally will consider the MSME due date as 30 days since it is less than 45 days. And certain party, even though we had captured 60 days as the agreed credit period, it will consider maximum credit period as 45 days for this report. And these are the two bills that are pending here. Now you might have some invoices which you would have received in the month of March. Considering the 45 day as credit period, those bills will be falling due in the subsequent financial year. Now again, it is very important for you to make sure that you are making those payments in the subsequent financial year within the specified due date so that you can claim these expenses in the current period to view the bills falling due in the subsequent financial year change the period first march to 15th of may enter and you will now see this one bill which is due on 15th of april so if you clear this bill on or before 15th of april this amount of purchase or service amount can be claimed in the current financial year as expenses. Now, if you have a lot of bills, if you want to filter them and see only those bills which are due in the subsequent financial year, you can apply the filter. So how do you apply the filter? Click on apply filter and select advanced filter. Come here and then say filter the rows with bill date lesser than or equal to 31st March 24, which means show me all the bills which are dated 31st March and prior to that, but you want to see the bills with due date greater than the current financial year that is greater than 31st March 24. Enter and you press enter. Now tally will filter and give you all the bills which are dated for the current financial year and will display so why 15th may is basically 45 days credit so from 1st of april to 15th may is 45 days which is the maximum date that is why i have entered 15th of may so all the bill which is going to fall due in the subsequent year will get listed so that this is going to help you in your cash flow management let us now see what are the information that is required in form one so in fact, in tally, you can actually print this form one in the word format. You can't directly upload this file, but this data is going to be useful. So let us see how we can get this data in the word file. Specify this information cleared on clear date. Yes. And then we are going to save this and change the period for the entire year March enter. So now we have this entire thing partially cleared or fully cleared, which is cleared beyond the specified date. So this is the information that needs to be provided. So from here, all you have to do is just click on print. And when you click on return form, click on preview. This is the form as provided by the MCA. So we will get all this information. The period here we have selected. Normally it is a half yearly. The period we have selected from April to May and the entire bill detail breakup we will get here in this thing. You can print this form though we cannot upload this form directly. The information that is available here will be handy for you to fill up the online form on the MCA portal. I hope this video has given you a clarity of how you can handle the MSME aspects of the feature that is provided in Tally 4.1. I hope you will use this feature for compliance related to MSME Act and also the newly inserted income tax section. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.